All right, who's ready for the next part of the game? <laughs> uh, okay, so I know what you're thinking. Expert championships next, right? <laughs> no, we're not doing that yet. We're gonna take a little detour here and deal with another game mode that existed only in this game for this uh, for the for the Evolution series, and that is Rally Cross. So first thing I need to do is I need to turn auto saves on because uh, some of these maps do have a tendency to crash the game. So I'm just gonna turn auto save on, and we're gonna we're gonna do Rally Cross. So, Rallycross is uh, about what you expect. We have five categories we can do. 1600, WRC, Independence, uh, No Concept, because it's a gray out, uh, Extreme, and Historic classes. So, we're going to start with the Super 1600 class. And uh, here's where we get to choose a car. Not using the Fiat, because I've already, won you know, I did the 1600 championship with the Fiat. Dead. I got five cars to choose from. All right, so I'm gonna alternate between a car. Like, I'm gonna try to use all these remaining five cars, but you know, whatever. Start with the Peugeot 206. So, yeah, just not gonna bother with the car explorer. So here's what we got here. We have a track for all 16 venues in this game. Uh, these are also the shakedown stages as well. So we're just going to go down the list, and uh, we're going to win them all. Now, we can actually set the lap, the amount of laps for each race. We can set it for anywhere from 3 to 10. Uh, the endurance racer in me wants to do 10, but I'll probably, just for the sake of all of you guys, keep it to 3 lap races for all these. Maybe 5 lap races for the extreme class, I don't know. We'll see. But... We're just going to go down the line. We're going to start our first race at Monte Carlo. And uh, let's go. So it's time for rally crossing. We're going to have the the first time that uh, Evolution is actually rendering more than two cars on the screen at once in a WRC game. Because these are four car races. Now, before we get started though, because the Pro Championship fucking murdered me mentally, I'm going to I'm also going to experiment with assists as I go through the rally cross mode. So um we're going to start with a light steering assist. Um, I'm not going to get a good feedback because these are the 1600 cars and they're pretty slow, but fuck it, let's go. I love having to restart immediately. Not because the game fucked me over, although the game was doing everything it possibly could to fuck me over. But my controller fucked me over by deciding that it just didn't want to be connected for whatever reason. And the game didn't want to recognize that the controller was disconnected, so it just kept going. It just kept going. And this is not a good start. Oh, fuck me. This, this LP is just fucking cursed. Like, this is the ultimate cursed LP. <laughs> Like, if it isn't the game trying to screw me over at every possible opportunity, and even ones that don't exist, it's the hardware. I'm gonna be so glad when this game is done. I, I came in here, you know, with high hopes. I had the problems with uh, the game crashing when using my HDMI adapter because, for some reason, the videos were very unstable and decided to crash the game. Found a workaround, still had a couple crash problems, and now this shit. Where the game, like, doing everything in its power to make sure I never win the Pro Championship. To a point where I almost rage quit slash rage suicided like 12 times. And just, yeah, it's the ultimate cursed. Just ultimate cursed. Anyways, I have taken the lead as we begin the third and final lap. So, I can look behind. <laughs> the L2 button actually has a use now. Because I actually have a reason to look behind. 
And yeah. But anyways. I think we're good to go now. <laughs> yes, hooray indeed. Thank you, Survivor, for the resub for 21 months. That's a long time. It's way longer than anyone should ever be subscribed to me on Twitch. Also, because I didn't say it earlier, thanks for the gift sub while I was AFK Atlantis. To, uh, Supra. Alright, I ween. I win by 5 seconds, 14 and 16. That is hard to read, let me tell you. Also, there's no save and replay, so I'm just gonna have this replay go on until I find a good spot to get a thumbnail. Get some nice clicky bitty. I mean, think about it this way, Snow. You'll never watch me again once I'm done with this game, so. And you, Joel will always be there. Ah, whatever, good enough. That'll work, I guess. Well, yeah, not a replay, but the result screen. I know, I, I'm, yeah, whatever. Anyways, I won. Gold medal. Yay! To the milestone era. I might, but I'm, <laughs> that was, that was supposed to be a backhanded jab at the fact that you only watch me when I play WRC. Anyways, let's move on to our next race at Sweden. Stay in the Peugeot. Oh, Alright, I don't really know many of these tracks. I'm more familiar with like the tarmac tracks. Or like the more tarmac y tracks, but uh. Sweden one I've never actually done, so this ought to be interesting. Also, I'm not gonna lie, I expected a lot more lag from the game with my uh. play setup because of the fact that it has to render four cars at once. Oh, dude, the ice lake. Fuck yeah. No! Did I mention that the AI. Um, have absolutely no, like, pathing awareness to the player. They just go wherever they're supposed to go, regardless of where you are. So, uh, you best not be in their way, because they will not stop. Skip the milestone to see. Why would I do that, Zero, when I genuinely want to play the milestone works? Because I'm a milestone. Milestone never made anything good. Hoopa doopa doo. They only make shit games. Hoopa doopa doo. Anyways, I think I can maybe recover from this. Because it's 1600. Therefore, these are the easy races. If I can get this goddamn Suzuki out of my way. Dude, I want to play WRC8, man. Like, just casually. Looks so much fun. This is hard because, like, overtaking is difficult because, again, they're not aware of your existence, so you have to make some ob take some really obtuse line to even make uh, some sort of a move on them. By the way, they, they realize when they're next, like, beside another AI car. It's just uh, the player car they don't recognize. Oh, fuck my ass. When I drive. Uh, usually when I drive, I use the steering wheel on my car when I drive. 
ha ha hilarious joke. I'm in that mood where I'm just gonna be a giant asshole, by the way, tonight, so uh, if I say something that offends you, uh, it's gonna happen. <laughs> I'm going to be... I think there's also rubber banding maybe in this. I don't know. Maybe I'm just being slow. But yeah, um, the, the, the pro championship has emotionally drained me, so I will be a dick. Because when I don't have the mental fortitude to say, hey, say to myself, hey, don't be a dick. Gonna be a dick. Anyways, I won. I won the ramen stage. Barely, but I won. So there's that. So, hooray! Two down, 14 to go. Let's go to Mexico and El Zaco. Which takes place on an airport runway, at least partially. This is one of the this is one of the uh, RX courses I've actually done some laps around. All right, take two. <laughs> Let's try this again, and not get spun immediately this time, and have to recover and then fail to recover. Because the AI are blind jerks. Oh, the around the outside. Momentum. Eat your heart out, empty box. Oh god. Really border cross. I mean this this track is on the US Mexico border, so yes. Also, I don't know if it's just my subconscious, but the steering assist feels like it's helping at least slightly, and then I go and understeer, I'm a moron. One lap down, I have the lead. Because I didn't get fucking punted this time. I'm in neutral. Where's the wall? Sorry, we're too busy bombing uh, the Middle East to make a wall. E. Can't shake him. Stay away, Ford driver. Completely overshot the turn. All right, we're good though. Away with you. That's what they named Colin McRae in uh, WRC1 was Ford Driver, since they didn't have the uh, rights to use his name. Thanks to Codemasters. Alright. Well, it took two tries, but I got the win by two point maybe Satan over CPU to one, and yeah. So, three down. The Super 1600 Rally Cross. Let's move on to New Zealand and Wellsford. Let's go. Let's go. Just move right along. And hope that I don't lose. I'll probably lose. Here we go. This is also a course that I am very unfamiliar with. Literally never uh, even looked at this course, except on the map. And I just got moved over by the Ford because, again, that AI unawareness. Oh, I can turn. Back here, you whores.
Yeah, no, they don't, like, have any statistics about the track or anything. It's just, here's the map. Okay. Oh, there they go. Goodbye. Later, losers. They all overshot it. Some more than others. Of course, since this is Rallycross, no co-driver, which means I... I gotta feel my way through until I learn the course. This seems to be a long -y course. long -y. Lengthy. Oh shit. Oh god, I wasn't ready for this. Uh. Alright, good. Lead. Lead lap one. Now run away. Also, I'm not sure if you guys have picked up on it, but because I have a steering assist on now, whenever it like activates, you'll see a green the uh, the steering wheel icon below the uh, the gear number uh, light up green. Uh, excuse me. I guess I could have just said below the tack, but you know what I mean. Someone's lag switching. Trying to get the advantage. This is a nice, um... I was gonna say detour, but I don't know if that's the right word. This is a nice aversion from just rallying all the time. No, those icons are, have always been there, but they just don't do anything if you have the assists off, so. Like, the, uh, the, so, like, the steering wheel is obviously for the steering assist. The one next to it is the brake assist. And then the, the icon with the car and the skid marks acts to trash control. Then there's the damage model or damage indicator next to that, which I can't remember if I said it on the first attempt at Monte Carlo, and uh, I can't remember if I said it, like, any time afterwards, but no damage in Rallycross, it's disabled. Well, mechanical damage, at least. At least I think it is. I've had some hard hits and no damage from it, so I'm going to assume that it is. This rally is involved, I guess. are solid. More shatterproof than the Cybertruck. Hell yeah. Got the joke in. Alright. Round four complete. Well, race four. Since these aren't being, like, scored except for individually. One by three seconds. Not bad. This is a PS2 game, Pinhead. Also high. Alright. So, I wish it didn't go back to Monte Carlo every time, because that means just more scrolling, but hey, whatever. Next up, Italy. This is another course I've actually uh, done a couple laps on. Why I chose Italy? I don't know. I just did. Well, let's try it again. Frickin' Citroen, like, got a huge gap immediately and just didn't look back. So uh, let's try to be the one who gets the huge gap this time. Or at least just a gap. No, stop it. No bully. He's gonna make the hairpin. Ugh. Come on, go, go, go. No, I'm stuck. Fuck. Oh, all right. Citroen gave up. Or Ford gave up. He made the turn and then he reset anyways. Sure. As you do. Let's 
see how many times I think that the uh, the roller redo has been clipped like what five times now <laughs> ask and I shall receive that's for sure All right. This first lap started off promising, and then it then the hairpin happened. But it's not over yet. There's a chance I can still recover and take the win. The Avus corner, actually, yeah. This hairpin is like the one at Avus. Almost got cucked by the Ford. Dude, that's not even Monaco tight. That's Macau tight. It's just not as narrow on the exit. Yeah, at least it's not stupidly narrow. At least they're... Ha at least it's not such a horrible turn that overtaking has been outright banned on on it. Like it's actually like you're actually not allowed to attempt an overtake of that turn per the rules. That's when you know your track is shit. Sneak. Wasn't a good sneak, but it sneak. Some safe Daytona. Go away. Actually, I was talking about Macau, but, you know, Daytona works too. Okay, bye. I did it. I did it, did it, did it, did it, did it. I'm actually going to win this time. Cool. These rallycross races are definitely not easy. You got to know what you're doing. And I knew enough to finally take the win. Sweet. Alright, again, took two tries, but we got it. Low end. Next. I should probably actually change cars now. <laughs> Alright, so we've done five races in the Peugeot, which is one more than I should have done, because I am good at math. Let's move on. Let's switch over to the Ford Fiesta S1600. And uh, do our next three. Not five, three. So next up is Cyprus. This is another track I have not yet been on, so this will be interesting. Oh god, Cyprus. Yeah. I have some steering assist, though, so uh, it won't be nearly as bad, I hope. <laughs> Here we go. Alright, so we have a Suzuki, Pojo, and a uh, the Renault this time. Replacing the... Uh, Citroen in the opposition. I'm not actually sure which uh, Suzuki that is. I think that's the uh, Swift. I can't remember which one has like the full hatch. The Ignis or the Swift. Oh shit, okay. Tight. Uh, short gears because Cyprus. Swift. Oh, the Ignis has a tail hatch. Okay, cool. Thank you for clearing that up for me, Tuner Guy. Get fucked. Get fucked, car I just drove for the last five races. Take no prisoners, comrade. This is a full contact sport. Oh, shit. 
That was tighter than I anticipated. Hello, Cleo. How you do? How do be do do do? How do we do be do? Scooby do be do. Where are you? Beauty folk behind me. I remember when. So who, who was it that said racing is a non contact sport? Boy, are they wrong. Probably says something. Oh yeah, that's right. The fucking that's right. The sportsmanship video. Fucking GT Sport racing is a non-contact sport. Oh, I see you've never watched NASCAR or beat or any sort of touring cars. A BTT or BTCC especially. And tell them that racing is a non-contact sport. See how it goes for you. Tom Brooks. Isn't Tom Brooks the uh, co commentary guy with Jimmer? Or is that a different guy? I, I don't know these things, I'm sorry. I, I know nothing about GT Sport. <laughs> yeah, shows them a lot. Right? I mean, they tried. But you can't teach stupid. And unfortunately, there's a lot of stupid in the uh, racing community. Video game community. Yeah, exactly. Those fall in the you can't teach stupid category, Supra. More unloose. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. I laugh, so I can't say anything. I win. Making a shit post using another shit post. And whoever was in the last place, uh, you sucked. 23 seconds back. No <laughs> more pants. No mom, no pants. This is a no pants zone. Uh, race 7, Turkey. Kumluka. Or Kumluka. Sip tea. Crossover. It's probably uh, elevated. So not an actual crossover. The pants are. The pants stay off. Looks like your competition is determined by which car you actually choose to drive. Because uh, same boys. Or maybe it's decided, like, every time you go, you select a car, regardless of which car it is. Also, um, dried up river? I think we're just racing on a dry river right now. <laughs> hey, 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 hey! No push. Oh, NASCAR! Do it for Dale. Praise hail, praise Dale. That fucking whine this car does once you reach the like the rev limiter. Oh, there's a drought. Let's take advantage of this. It's the opposite of Sweden, where it's like, oh, um, it's not cold enough. Better cancel half the rally. Because it's not cold enough. I 
Eh, it vaguely sounds like a supercharger whine, yeah. Splish splash, taking a bath. I just realized these rally cross segments are going to be way longer than any of the actual rallies. So, you know, doing 16 races versus three stages. It's just the gearbox crying, please. Upshift. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. Dude, imagine if I tried to do that turn with no steering assist whatsoever. Uh, it wouldn't. It, it wouldn't. It just would not. There's our second race in the Ford. What is this camera angle? Oh, okay. Built for these 14. God, there's no way I can do that, Reaper. I don't even see my margin of victory there because I was looking at chat. Oh, well. All right, last one in the Ford, and it's at Greece. The Acropolis Rally Cross. So, let the go. Um, is it Oran Park I'm thinking of? There's a track in Australia that has a crossover. I had it, and then I did. Fuck. All right. Grease attempt two. Some greasy bitches. No, fuck off. Swiftly fuck off, sir. Run away! Hey! Came out on top of the hairpin, run away! Oh fuck, bad bounce. Uh, didn't let me properly set up for that turn. Go, go. Making more passes than a politician in a Oh. Bless the uh, EV destruction announcer. He's the best. Run away. Later, losers. In second place, it's Queens. Use destruction is fucking amazing. Again, if you can run a PS2 emulator, play it. Or if you have the money for a physical copy, get it, play it. You'd be de you'd be doing a disservice to yourself if you never played the game. Not at the top. Oh no. Yeah, one. I've won the greasy uh, quarry rally.
race cross fuck Ugh, by five seconds cool all right well, that means we are halfway through the 1600 rally cross races let's switch cars so next up is the Renault Clio S1600. So uh, let's get into Clio and do our next three races in it. Starting with Argentina and Colesquin. Alright, so the, you see this Ignis over here? I think it's an Ignis. Um, fuck him. <laughs> or no, that's a Swift. Still, you see the Suzuki over here? Fuck him. Bitch, keeps wrecking me. Ugh. Oi, oi. This is not gonna end well for me. Because they... Yep, yep, that's exactly what I expected to have happen. God, I... This would be so much better if the AI weren't so brain-dead towards your existence. And if it feels like actually possible to, you know, prevent them just from hooking you. Dude, 69th stage was so nice. I've never watched Initial D. I've never watched a single scene from Initial D. I'm not a true car guy, I'm sorry. Oh, looks like the Suzuki's are racing each other. Hopefully they take each other out. I just realized one of these is the Ignis and one of these is the Swift. And then there's just another Clio in this. Fuck you. Run away! Run away! Get the fuck out of here! Must catch my brother. Or crash, that works too. I don't remember doing this section on the first lap. Help. Boy, boy. Send it. Ah, damn it. I was hoping I could send it into that fucking junction and just get the easy swoosh pass, but no. Managed to keep his momentum going up. Hi, how you doing? What in doubt, punt. Not actually what I wanted to do, but that's what happened. Alright, whatever. Got the win after three tries. Hooray! Alright. That was a exciting finish for once. Yay, raw. So, uh, let's continue. Our next race, which is going to be at Finland. Oh boy. This looks like it's going to be fun. Doesn't look like it's going to be fun. Anyways. Alright. Here we go. Finland. This looks like it's fairly short, actually. I'm probably wrong. In fact, I'm definitely wrong. Oh, goodbye. So long, suckers. Run away! 
Oh shit. Oh crap. Oh crikey. Uh, good question, Supra. I don't know the answer. I just went swimming. <laughs> I just took a dip. <laughs> they just kind of like... I think they just kind of like had some argy-bargy as they were going around the corner and it slowed them way the fuck down. But I was already ahead. I didn't have to deal with the argy-bargy. <laughs> Well, I... sorry. I can't read all the chat context. This takes too much, uh, focus. And concentration. I need to start playing more Brain Dead video racing games. So I can actually interact with chat. Next let's play is gonna be, uh, GT4 B-Spec. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just running with two clicks on the steering assist, Franco. Honestly, it's seen, again, I'm only in the 1600 car, so I won't really know how much this is going to affect me until I get to the WRC cars, but right now it seems like this is the, the way to go. Because, like, I can actually throw this thing around and it not uh, just fucking become one with a tree. On its own, of its own volition. Also, I am schooling them. Oh. This is a pretty easy course as well. It's just a high-speed sweeper that goes on for two minutes, and then a couple right-handers. Alright, well, that was an easy win. Ten seconds I won by. Nice. Alright, well. Six to go. Let us move on to the next one. Which is going to be Germany. So, to Peterburg in Germany with a two crossovers. Ooh. Also full tarmac. No, not Petersburg. Peterburg. It's different. <laughs> the way we go. start with a super... No, we're not. Never mind. I thought we were going to start with a super tight hairpin. Uh, I was wrong. I think I would remember how we do this track, because I've actually done a couple laps around here. Uh, answer. I did not remember. Boy. Go, fu go fuck yourself. Nice try, idiot. I lived, bitch. Way too late on the brakes for this turn. This hairpin. Oh, pfft. They all got stuck. <laughs> they did the fucking, the, uh, the Forza 1 Tokyo thing where, like, one AI car overshoots the hairpin and they all get stuck. <laughs> uh, that was fantastic. That was, that was beautiful. Honestly, this highway portion might be the actual Avu strip, but I don't know. The rest of the track definitely is not. Fenu Lippi. 
Oh, look at that hot air balloon. Pulled the fuck away. Fuck, because they may have got caught on the wall again with this hairpin. And. Easy clap. I just want to dress the drawers. Hey, man, crying. Oof. 23 seconds. GG. G fucking G. Are you okay? God damn it. <laughs> Alright. What was that? Our second race in the uh the Clio? I think it was. Yeah. So on to you got the trash. Uh you missed a few rally cross races. I don't know. We're going to Wales. I tried, but I failed. <laughs> Most because I had no idea. This track's kind of difficult. Especially the last part of it. Because I keep screwing up the final turn. So uh, let's stop screwing up the final turn and maybe win this race this time. Uh, or get fucked over by a Suzuki because they like doing that. Coltus was the boxy boy, of course it's superior. Fun box, fun box. Large and square and purple. Can't remember the colors of the Coltus. Please slow down, car. Thank you. Dude, I didn't know Project Torque existed until, like, the it got fucking revived here recently. Literally never heard of it until a few months ago. Not surprising, I kind of live under several mountains, so uh, things pass me by very, very easily. Stupidly easily, even. This downhill section's intense. Because of the split path and the trees and just the ah. Uh. Colossus is still in production. That's amazing. Anyways, I've fucked off this time. Now that I know where I'm going and what I'm doing. So there's that. I mean, it's a Suzuki, I wouldn't expect a... Most of their cars are lucky to break 100 horsepower. Like production cars. Hell, their motorbikes are way more powerful. There we go, got the win. Took me two tries, but we're good. And <laughs> one by seven seconds, oh yeah. Last place, though, with the frickin' 22 seconds behind. Okay, so there's my three races in the, uh, the Clio. Now it's time to end this in the two Suzukis. So, starting with the Ignis, and then we'll, we'll do three in the Ignis, and then the last two with the Swift. So let's go to our next rallycross race, which is going to take place at Japan at Satsunae. Let's tickle. I think we're reaching the part where one of these maps in the later part uh, can crash the game. I don't know which one it is, but I know it's one of them. The GSX R4. That was just a concept, though, wasn't it? 
and away we go. And now we have a Ford, Pojo, and a Swift. And a lot of slowdown. A lot of slowdown. Oh my goodness. This is about what I was expecting from like all of these rallycross races, because the game's rendering a lot of cars. Oh fuck. There's a th <laughs> Whoops. I may or may not have killed my brand mate. He's he's dead, Jim. I did an oopsie. Oh fuck. See, if I if I didn't have the steering assist, there's no way in hell I could have saved that. Luckily I did, so I could. This first lap still isn't over. Oh shit! I was not prepared for the square right. Okay. Or the junction right, excuse me. Copperhead is cool. You know, I should really think about like taking that wide around the fountain or the well. I'd be able to carry more speed. Go, go, go. Oh, fuck, you got in my way. Bastard. Cut me off. You fucking caught me off, mate. What are you fucking doing? Why get off my fucking ass? You can't fucking drive, fucking asshole. This this was an eye racing joke, by the way. To those who weren't able to pick up on it. Oh oh no! <laughs> Mama! I killed a man. I'm sorry, Reaper. I'm sorry that I like things. I am cursed. I'm the cursed with, like, not being a salty boomer and actually liking things. I honestly hate it a lot of the time. Because I don't feel... I feel like I'm the idiot. Because it's like, I like thing. Wow, you're stupid. Damn straight I am. Not even the fact that it was like a Dodge or a Viper related, I just liked the Copperhead. I just thought it looked cool. Oh, get fucked. Oh, get fucked. <laughs> Strats. I did it. I did it. Alright. Japan done. Three to go, and the first part of the rally cross will be done. Next up is France and Paza. I think the French map is the one that crashes, I'm not sure. Or maybe it's the Spanish one, I don't fucking know, whatever. Alright, let's try that again. Now that I know where I'm going, maybe I'll do better. Starting with this hairpin. Ugh. Got me fucking way. Suzuki 1 2, let's go. Go, go, go. Out me way. Kazin, move. I said move, cousin. Eh. 
No! We've been sniped. Shit. How you doing? Get the fuck behind me, boy. I'm winning this. Me. Please don't kill me. No Pantorino. Alright, cool. I avoid Oh god. Just a fucking face full of Peugeot. Oh, that's the handbrake, not the look behind button. I ween. Well, that was an intense short race. That was really intense. But I did it, I ween. Damn, that was my three races in the Ignis, wasn't it? Shit. Alright, two to go, so let's swap over to the final 1600 car that I have not yet driven, and that is the Swift. The Suzuki Swift. So, the slightly less boxy one. Next up is Spain, San Julia. Or San Julia. I don't fucking know. Spanish is weird. Yeah, super alternator braking! Luckily for me, I did it later. Well, not later, but I did it better. So, um, that was bullshit. Let's try this again. Yeah. Betrayal. Alright. Let's try this again. Third time's a charm. Hopefully I can actually, like, get the lead and not get punted or forced into a fucking barrier. Yeah, go fuck yourself. I can't remember if it was the Clio or the, uh, the Citroen that forced me into this barrier last time, but fuck them. Does suck work in this game? It does not. No suck. Only fast. Suzuki. So what you're saying is more games need rallycross? Or like, less realistic rallycross? F3 is the best car not- isn't it though? Dude, I fucking- I'm so glad I got the F3, it's so much fun to drive. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Nobody else knows. I know, right? It's like the the podium. It's like the guys on the podium know what they're doing, and then everyone else is just like fucking. Oh no! Then you got the guy. Uh, yes, I did. Yes, I did, Arrow. And I'm 100% not surprised that that exchange happened. Dude, Keenan, I botched qualifying one race. I started 10th. By the end of lap one, I was third. I didn't make a single overtake. <laughs> also, I win. Yay. <laughs> I didn't pass anybody, and I gained seven spots on lap one. Also, the race I won, two-second lead out of turn one. Four-second lead at the end of lap one. Also, here's our final S1600 Rallycross race. It's Straya, you cunts. I had the win, and then the punto punted me, because he's a punty cunty cunt punt. Absolute bellend. At least I know how to pass these guys now. I was doing it all wrong that last attempt. So, third time's a charm. 
Oh no, third time's a tree. Uh, probably, John. Go, catch them. Catch those bastards. to did the Cleo. It's probably the hardest of boys to pass. Right, gotta get a run. Just send it on the outside. Or he can do he can just turn it into me, that's fine. I'm starting to think um, maybe they're less aware of my existence and more just determined to fucking wreck me. Like, they get in my way more often than an AI who's just completely unaware of your existence would. I, I feel like there's more happening here. <laughs> I think, I think they're set to kill. Hardest thing I've ever done in a video game? Fucking, I don't know. Uh, as far as actually accomplishing it, probably the Red Bull challenge in GT5. Uh, in terms of actually attempting it, probably the Lewis Hamilton challenge in sport. Boy, got me fucking way. Bastards. The double overtake. Oh, now I'm gonna get punted by the punto again. Stay away. Stay away from me. GT6 Red Bull was fucking cake, especially compared to GT5. Like, do GT6 Red Bull challenge and then go to GT5. You will not have testicles goals anymore because you'll they'll be stomped in so hard. Finally, I won. All right, that took three tries. There we go. <laughs> 16th and final rallycross win for the 1600 class. That took. Over an hour and a half. What the edited product will be? Uh, probably not that much. Probably close to an hour. But there we go. All gold medals. For the first leg of the 1600 class. Yay. Did it. Alright. So, one down, four to go. Let me just show you my progress in the trophy room. So, 16 out of 80 medals gone, or gained, so. Yeah, <laughs> that was that.